What's up guys, Tomoki here with more factions! Yes, we are back in the previous episode. We made ourselves a monster spawner and we got ourselves so we can all be set up and good, good, good for getting some free XP so we can make ourselves some enchanted armor without having to wait for the kit every single day, which is awesome, awesome, awesome! So the server's kind of laggy right now, I'm starting to notice this, hopefully it doesn't become an issue later on in the videos. Everyone else is busy right now, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing as of yet. But as always, if you want to donate to the server, use coupon code like Tomahawk for 15% off your order. I gotta say that sort of thing at the beginning, and at the end, just, yeah, just throwing it out there, don't waste your money, you know, 15% off. Gets you lots of goodness. Anyway, um, I'm gonna so go ahead and just say, like, you know, let's get on into this episode of the factions, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we are in the base. I have completely sealed this thing off because some stupid person who is unintelligent on our faction, probably Simone, went upstairs and put the cave spider spawner up there, which means if I take this off, all the cave spiders can escape, and then they could kill me and do lots of damage and scare me. But right now they can't because I cleared, uh, it's, it had to be two block wide space, and they could do half a block height, so actually I can kill them like this. So that makes that work, surprisingly. But anyway, so what I wanted to do in this episode was make myself and uh, I was going to say Iron Golem Spawner for some reason. No, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a potion maker thingy. You know, the automatic one that makes potions for you. But I realized something, and that is, uh, we look at, if I look at my balance, I have what? I have lots of money. Apparently, we actually do have lots of money now because they, they fixed the amount of people money in people's balances. We had no money like three days ago. Apparently, we have more. I haven't checked until right now. But my point is that uh, I thought I had no money and I wanted to get, be able to get some money so I was gonna go caving and since I realized that I do have money uh, I'm not gonna change my plans I'm still gonna go caving but uh, I'm not gonna worry so much about uh, <laughs> gathering as much materials as I needed because now I can actually afford the stuff that I want to make so that's always good but anyway so what I wanted to do since I was going caving and that's pretty much of like a boring activity that requires pretty much no mental effort and is just me digging kind of in a straight line for hours on end what I wanted to do was, what is this? Is this the old, oh, this is the old uh, sugarcane farm. Cool. But anyway, uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a little bit of a QA. and a I haven't done a QA and a in a while. Uh, I remember the last time I did it is I was caving on the cube SMP. And, ooh, that was months ago. Like, it was a long, long time ago since I did that. But since I want to be awesome like that and I want to be able to do another q and I went ahead and uh, went on Twitter, and I asked you guys, I was like, hey, what do you, like, you know, I'm going to do a quick Q&A on today's episode of Factions. You should, like, ask me questions with the hashtag AskTomahawk, and everyone's like, okay, and then they all uh, asked questions, and now I have a whole bunch of them in this tweet deck tab of mine, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read off these questions and answer them as I cave, and it's going to be awesome. So, I'm going to go scroll down to the bottom of this list because I don't want to miss out on any of them. All right, there's so many, I need to keep scrolling. Okay, there we go. So I'm at the very bottom of the list, and it's the first question is, I'm going to pick these at random, by the way, I'm not going to go just from people who put them first and people who put them newer. So the first question is, what is your favorite TV show, colon D? Well, my favorite TV show currently right now is a mixture between a bunch of different shows. Is it lagging? Might be lagging a little bit. Are you lagging? You lagging? Server? Test? Test? It's it's lagging. I may crash. Oh, there, there it goes. Let's try again. Logging in, dot, dot, dot. Why is this not working? Seriously? Okay, so the server just went back up. It's funny, it was like it was down for like three minutes. I was like, uh, did the server just die and I'm unable to record my factions video? And then like I tweeted, I was like, mm, this may the video might be delayed until tomorrow since the server's dead. And then like two seconds after I tweeted that, uh, the server went back up. So that's always good. Anyway, I was going back to answering my first question of the day. Oh, I silverfish! Why did I not realize that those were silverfish? Oh, leave me alone! Oh gosh, they're all attacking. There we go. Safe now. Anyway, so what I was saying is, uh, what's your favorite TV show? Well, my favorite TV show right now is a combination between a couple of TV shows. My favorite TV show at one point was Breaking Bad, but then that's over. And then my favorite TV show right now is Doctor Who. And it was The uh, the Walking Dead, but I feel like that show is slowly deteriorating. Deteriorating? It's hard to say really fast. Uh, deteriorating in quality as the seasons go on. So I'm kind of scared if the next season is going to be good or not. And then f finally, my favorite anime at this point in time is Sword Art Online Dose. Because that one's still going right now, and I'm so excited, but that TV show is going by so slow, 
it's ridiculous just how like slow paced and boring it is but like it, it's starting to pick up in pace right now like with the new episodes that are coming out and i'm really excited for what's gonna happen i need to know what is going on who is death gun who knows who knows okay anyway someone answered another question Okay, all, the, all these things are scrolling up at extremely alarming paces. Apparently, we went trending uh, in the United States with these questions, so that's always cool. Okay, so I'm going to scroll up a little bit, and uh, let's see here. So, Bieber JSMG asks, who was your first kiss? Well, I'm going to tell the story of my first kiss because it's very enlightening and also something that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, not really, but whatever. So, there was a girl. Uh, I'm going to change her name for the aesthetic point of the, uh, the, the this thing so people don't know who she is and look her up. So, uh, I'm just going to say her name was Amy. So, Amy... I don't know why I always use the name Amy, but whatever. So, uh, Amy was... Uh, I, I asked her out to be my girlfriend back in 7th grade. Amy was... Uh, she was a... Uh, what do you call it? She was a, I think it was Japanese or Vietnamese, I'm not sh quite sure, I always uh, can't remember, because I have a lot of Vietnamese friends, and I also have a lot of Japanese friends. Anyway, she was one or the other, Pretty, I'm leaning on the side of Japanese, and uh, what, 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 what happened was, is, like, I, I asked her out to go on a movie date, and then it was like, you know, we went to the movies, I forgot what movie we were seeing, uh, it might have been Hunger Games, I think the first Hunger Games, maybe, maybe not, but anyway, we were seeing Hunger Games, and, uh, you know, I, I, I go in for the kiss, and then it happens, and she's just like, is that your first kiss? And I was like, yes. She's like, I could tell. And I was like, oh, okay. And then from then, it was kind of awkward. And then that was the story of my first kiss. Thanks for asking. Okay, another question. <laughs> uh, TW Misha asks, what is your opinion on piercings and tattoos? Oh my god, where am I? Okay, what's your opinion on piercings and tattoos? Well, that's a very good question. And um, so... My personal opinion on piercings and tattoos is I was raised, especially by my dad, uh, he was, he's always like, never get a tattoo, never get a piercing. And I was like, okay. And the reason for that is like, you know, my dad just, or well, actually, my abuelita thought that tattoos were uh, like a sign of the devil or something like that. She, she's really weird and superstitious like that. But uh, she, always, she always thought those sorts of things. And so uh, my dad always thought, well, she didn't, he didn't really think those sorts of things. He just kind of wanted to go along with the tradition because why not? And so, wait, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> so I, I was kind of raised like, you know, I probably shouldn't ever get like a tattoo or a piercing, even though I don't think they're bad or anything. So uh, me personally, I don't think I'll ever get a tattoo or a piercing, but I, you know, piercings and tattoo, uh, piercings and tattoos are awesome on other people. Like my mom has, uh, used to have like a tongue piercing and then she has a couple tattoos. So, you know, living that life, you can do whatever. But um, me personally, I don't think I'll ever get one because that's, that stuff just sounds painful and stuff. So here we go. Uh, Zip, aka Ollie Zip asks, what would you do if you were in an apocalypse? And uh, I guess he, oh, look at that diamonds. I kind of fell and found diamonds. Uh, he didn't really expand on this. So I'm going to expand on it for him. What would I do if I was in a zombie apocalypse? Well, there's an abandoned school that is very near to where I live. And this school, uh, I actually used to go to it when I was in elementary school. And then the, the school shut down. But um, basically, this school is awesome because it has a fence around it. And then it also has a building that you can climb up the pipes to get to the very top of it. So you can make a settlement on top of the building. And also, uh, there's a shopping well, a shopping center that's like kind of close by it. So what you could do is you could like if uh, send a, like a party mission or a party mission, send a mission to go out to find or to basically attach a clothesline from the top of the school and then to the uh, the building, one of the buildings at the shopping center. And then you can make like a sort of like makeshift bridge so you can always get materials without having to, uh, you know, deal with the zombies and stuff that are on the floor. I've thought this thing through overly amounts because I get really bored in class and I was like, oh, well, I wonder what I would do in these situations. And that is something that I would do in that situation. So I'm going to go ahead and ask another question. Let's see, or answer another question. I'm not going to ask another question. <clears throat> All right. So, oh my grazer asks, do you like your hair blue or brown? I like my hair both. Um, you know, I, I, my hair's all weird right now because it's like a combination between like blondish, greenish, bluish, brown. It's all it's all over the place. I love your eyes and their bluish, brownish, greenish color. That's exactly what's going on right now. But anyway, um, I think my hair at this point is kind of fading too much, so I'm probably gonna dye it back to brown sometime in the near future. Cause look at it; it doesn't even look blue anymore. It's like a blonde. It's like weird. 
weird looking, but my hair is definitely on point right now. I, I did, I gelled my hair. I was like, that's perfect. I'm leaving it like that. It's fantastic. And uh, I, I am obsessed with my hair. So that's the answer to your question. And then I got an answer. I got a que another question from Jordan J. She says, have you ever, uh, have you met all cube members in real life? Let's see. Okay. So uh, the cube members that I have met in real life are Rusher, Dolphin, Grazer, Grape, Bayani, uh, Will, uh, Tibsy, I just, I think I've, I've met every single, uh, cube member in real life. I'm, by the way, what am I doing right now? I'm, I'm getting this, the charger for my headset, because it's dying. So, I've met all the cube members in real life, except for Jordan, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's just Jordan, and I've met every single other member in real life. I could be wrong on that assumption, but... I'm pretty sure the only one that I haven't met in real life is Jordan. Pretty sure. So that answers your question. Okay, I'm going to scroll up a lot now, and I'm going to answer these questions. Uh, and I'm probably too lazy to put an overlay of just the question that's on there, so I'm just going to read them all. All right, let's see. I'm scrolling up. Okay, so uh, Iona says, um, would you rather travel to the past or to the future? Ooh, that's a good question. Also, the server's lagging very bad again. Okay. What are you doing? Server, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna wait for the server to come. I'm gonna answer the questions while the server comes back from its lagginess because it's probably gonna crash again. Yeah, it just crashed. All right, GG, server is down. Okay, so I'm gonna answer the question because the server's dying and whatnot, and also I have a little bit of sniffle, we can tell, huh? Okay, so I don't know. This is a very difficult question because you think that you could travel to the past and you already know everything about the past because history, right? You could travel to the past and then find out cool things. So, like, if you go to the past, you can figure out some of the mysteries, like, why Amelia Earhart, uh, you know, went over the ocean and then, um, crashed and then destroyed her plane or whatever. You know, you find out the mystery to that. You can find out, like, kind of solve all the mysteries of the past and, you know, figure out that sort of thing. But, on the other hand, if you could travel to the future, you can, well, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna expand more on the, 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 the back in time past thing. So, like, if you're a skeptical, uh, person when it comes to, like, uh, religious like healers and stuff like you go back and see if like muhammad was uh actually the prophet he claimed to be uh or if like jesus was actually performing miracles and stuff you could actually see that firsthand and see if it's true and that would be awesome if you like assuming i i would probably like if, you know if you could go back in time and then keep going back in time but like you can never go back forward right so like if i were to go back to like 1910 and then i could go back to 1810 and i could keep going backwards and as long as i wanted until it stopped that would be awesome and then also, if I could keep going forward as much as I want, that would also be awesome. But there's a lot more mystery to kind of like the future sort of thing. Because, you know, if you wanted to go to the future, I wish the server wasn't dead. If you could go to the future, then you could basically find out that, like, you know, if you go if you go 10 years in the future, you don't know what's going to happen 10 years in the future. Like, for all we know, like, it could have been nuclear fallout and then everyone's dead. And then you are forced to keep going further into the future, further into the future, further into the future, hoping that there's some type of civilization and you'll never find it and you'll be lonely forever. So like there's like uncertainty when you travel to the future. And then also there's the idea, you know, that you'll find new technology that's really cool looking and awesome stuff that you can, you know, do. Like, I mean, if you, if you could travel to the future, that would be awesome because like, you know, you can find like cures to diseases and stuff. And then like if you are a person who, like, I think, I think if you're a person suffering from a terminal illness, so, like, if you're dying of cancer, you could probably keep going to the future in hopes that someone finally made the cure, and, I don't know, there's, there's cool things that go both ways, I'm not sure, I'm leaning towards the side of going back in, back in time, but also going for, forward in time is also cool, that's a really good question, that's a really, really good question, okay, so, someone asked a question, but it wasn't in the form of the question, so I'm not answering that, uh, let's see here, scrolling up, okay, so, Natasca underscore DK asks, what's your favorite candy? So, my favorite candy is a combination between a couple of candies. I love Milky Ways, I love Snickers, I love Starburst, I love Jolly Ranchers, and probably my most favorite candy of all time is those, uh, what are they called? Oh my gosh, those Warheads? If you guys, if you guys don't know what they are, Warheads are like these sour hard candies that are like sour for maybe anywhere from like 30 to 60 seconds, and then after that they turn sweet, and they are the best! Things ever like OMG, I want one right now is so deliciously amazing. Like, you don't even know how awesome these things are because, like, I love sour things and then I love it how they're sweet after, like, especially the black cherry ones. My goodness, if people were to send massive amounts of like those hard candies to my P.O. box, I would be happy forever. 
but I, I have a feeling they'd probably get stale in, in the mail or something. Anyway, uh, scrolling up. Okay, so Vanessa L, aka Danger to the Moon, asks, "What is your favorite can uh, friendly and or I was gonna say favorite favorite candy, favorite friendly and or hostile mob in Minecraft? My favorite friendly mob in Minecraft has got to be uh, I kind of like the rabbits. I think I think those are my favorite uh, friendly mob, and then my favorite hostile mob has got to be um." I'm gonna say the ghast, or like, no, 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 not the ghast. I'm gonna say Enderman because it's, uh, I'm a big fan of like the Slenderman type like video game stuff, like, you know, all the scary games. And since the Endermen are based off of Slenderman, you know, the thought, the internet mythology creature, those are really cool. So I'm gonna say Enderman, plus you could like trap them in little areas and keep them as your pets as long as you don't look at them. And then they're in, like kind of passive slash friendly. Like they're the only friendly slash passive, they're only pa passive till, they're, like, they're kind of like Pikmin. Anyway, I'm scrolling up a lot now, okay? So, another quote cool person asks, uh, Hello, my name is, and then Grazers dot dot dot, because the name's too long, asks, Would you like kids when you were older? You know, I, I thought about this quite a bit, and uh, I feel like, uh, me specifically, I do want children in the future. And my reasoning for this isn't because, you know, I want to, you know, uh, I don't know, be proud of someone. I just feel like I want to, my genetic lineage to continue on as long as it can. Uh, like, I want to know that, uh, like, I am alive in the form of someone else. I don't know. It's, it's kind of, like, one of those things that, uh, makes me, um, cope with the, uh, with, with my idea of death, death, like, knowing that I have children that will, technically speaking, live on in the form of me and still have, like, me in them. That's cool. And, uh, I want that to happen. And plus, you know, the little kids are awesome sometimes, and they're also really annoying, and just, I don't know, the idea of being a father would be kind of cool. You know, pretty interesting kind of stuff. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer another question. I'm going to wipe my nose some more because I have sniffles in the mornings. Let's see. Uh, someone posted a picture that says, Are you jealous of how much candy you got? So my mom got me. Yeah, I'm jealous, girl. I'm jealous to the half. All right, so when I ask uh, Kiki, a.k.a. Uh, Adria's Tyrrhenia, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, asks... Uh, are you going to pack South 2015? My answer to that is probably not. I don't like. It's it. I have. I had a decision to make. Or I. It's either that I go to PAX East 2015, or I go to PAX uh, South 2015. And I feel like more people are going to be going to PAX East, which is in Boston, if you were wondering, than PAX uh, South. So I think that's why I'm probably not going to go because you know going to conventions is expensive. I don't. I ain't made out of money. I do have a large disposable income because you know I'm a teenager who doesn't have to pay any bills minus like the electric and the uh, internet bills because I like to help my family out. Uh, you know there there's nothing else that I pay for. So uh, you know even that much like YouTube doesn't pay much. So um, you know I can only go to one. So that's my kind of thingy on it. So maybe maybe. Okay, so another question is, uh, Breathe Simmer asks, uh, why do you suck so much, and why won't your stupid friend at Grazer10 block me? I don't know. Uh, you know, maybe you're not trying hard enough or something. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, we got another question saying from a Sandra Meaning. I don't know that it's like Sandra Plays, I think, is her entire name. But anyway, so she asks, what was your favorite or funniest memory from PAX? So my favorite memory from PAX, or at least one of the ones that stand stands out the most, is when we're all together, uh, and we, we, we're walking to a steakhouse to go get food, and we all walk inside, and we're like, can we get a table for 25, or something like that, some ridiculous amount of number, and they're like, okay, and then we have, like, the longest, longest table for everyone to all eat together, it's like when we were eating at Cheesecake, too, it's so funny, how, like, having that large number of people all together, and then, uh, everyone's steak was undercooked, so that was always good, but, um, you know, it, like, I think H asked for a well done steak and then it still was like oozing of all that muscle tissue kind of gross redness and it was kind of weird. I asked for a medium and it was kind of bloody but either way it was good. It was really good. Oh yeah. Delicious. Delicious. Okay let's see. Let's go ahead and ask another question. Uh, so official lead Lita asks is mayo an instrument? Is horseradish an instrument? Horseradish is not an instrument either, Patrick. That's a good question. That's funny. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and ask into another question. Lover girl 22 asked, if you're eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, do you like more peanut butter or more jelly? Uh, you know, I think I, I like jelly more than I like peanut butter, but then again, I'm not a big fan of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to begin with because they kind of don't give you much sustenance 
at all. <laughs> it's just kind of like a snack food almost because they're just so like there's not much food in them together. And I don't know. It's kind of less like meh tasting. You know what I'm saying? It's like kind of you know you got you know what I'm talking. You don't you just you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's answer another question. So, 158 Cool Dude asks, Do I own a toaster? Yes, I do own a toaster. And I'm going to tell a funny story about a toaster. So, back when my brother was, I don't know, he was probably like in fifth, sixth, or I think he was like in fifth grade. He was weird. And uh, so, like, my mom wanted him to get in a bath so he would, you know, take a bath and get clean or whatever. And uh, for some reason, my brother was uh, physically attached to the toaster. And then so my mom had to pry him away from the kitchen. And then as, as my, he was being carried by mother, my mother, he says, I want the toaster! I want the toaster! And then uh, now I make fun of my brother wanting the toaster uh, in a, indefinitely uh, until the end of time. Because it's absolutely hilarious how he's like, I want the toaster! I want the toaster! It's really, really funny. And uh, also the server's lagging out again. So, I think this is the point where I'm going to end the Q&As. I got lots of diamonds. I got 19 diamonds. I got lots of redstone. Some decent amount of lapis and some gold and iron, too. So, thank you for everyone who used the Ask Tomahawk hashtag to add, ask me questions so I could get this episode done on this super laggy server that hopefully needs to get fixed with its lag sometime in the near future. So, go ahead and roll that outro thingy that I do sometimes as I jump off into the void. That's pretty weird. Look at that. That's really weird. Alrighty then, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Factions. I'm going to go... Be so now that we uh, know that we have large amounts of money, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves the potion be brewer thing in the next episode. So we'll be all good to uh, have lots of potions when we're fighting the enemies and raiding the bases and taking all their goods. Once again, if you would like to donate to the server and get some like cool ranks and stuff like the kits that give you OP stuff... Uh, Anyway, just use coupon code Tomahawk. It gives you 15% off. Whatever. Just saying. Um, and then, also, uh, I'm very tired right now, so I'm going to go play Counter-Strike to wake me up. Right? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, but anyway, um, once again, thanks for uh, asking all those questions with the hashtag AskTomahawk. It got me lots of, lots of, lots of free mins. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. But thank, thanks uh, for asking all those questions and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye! <laughs>